This video is sponsored by Chewy. Get 30% off your first auto ship order and free shipping on orders over $49. Click the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all of our videos. Today, since we moved our three-toed box turtles inside, we're going to show you how we turned our tortoise table into a hoop house garden. To see how we made this tortoise table, visit our channel or click the link in the description. We start with cutting 2x4s to length to fit the 6x3 foot table perimeter. It took both of us to hold the pieces together and screw it all in place so we didn't get footage of us doing it, but here's what it looks like all assembled. After the lid is built, we took PVC socket caps and screwed them into the lid. You can do this without drilling them if you have a sharp enough screw like we did. You just spin the screw on the cap until it catches, then hold it with your hand and send the rest of the screw through the lid. After that, you can just screw it straight into the wood. It is easier to drill out the cap first, but we couldn't find a drill bit small enough, and this worked out fine. We attach six caps, one in each corner and one in the middle on either side of the table. After all the PVC caps are in place, you want to make sure to measure the distance between the caps opposite each other. This will help us determine how long to cut our PVC pipes. To do this, we need to find the circumference. The circumference is 2 times pi times the radius. What we measured is actually the diameter though, so to simplify this, we can turn this formula to pi times the diameter, since 2 times the radius equals the diameter. This determines the circumference of an entire circle. But since we are only using half a circle, we need to divide the entire circumference by 2. Once we get that, that will be the length you need to cut your PVC pipe to to be a perfect half circle from where your PVC caps are. Use a hacksaw to cut your PVC to length. We used a cheap $10 one from our local hardware store. After they were all cut to length, we started putting them in place. Make sure to have at least one PVC T-joint slid onto the ends before putting the pipes into the caps. This will be for the PVC going across the top later. Also, just to make sure the PVC doesn't come up and smack you when you're putting it in place, stand off to the side. The PVC should fit right into your caps and make a perfect curved circle if you did your math right from earlier. Again, make sure your T-joint is on the pipe before putting it in place. Once everything's in place, put your T-joint that is on the two end pieces on top and screw them to the PVC pipe it is on. Now it's time to put the PVC pipe on top in place. Slide this into the two T-joints you just installed and across the middle hoop. Once that's in place, we installed hinges so it's easier to open and access the garden inside. Since this will become the home for our three-toed box turtles again in the spring, we made sure not to accidentally screw through the wood which would leave holes on the inside of the enclosure. After that, it was time to put on the greenhouse plastic. We draped it over the structure and then cut it down making sure we had plenty extra on every side in case we made a mistake.
After it was cut down, we used a thin piece of wood cut to the same lengths of the table and put it over the plastic. This is what will hold the plastic in place. We pulled it as tight as we could without ripping the plastic and then screwed the wood down and in turn pinching the plastic and keeping it in place. We then did the same to all four sides. After it was all attached, we cut the excess plastic off, still leaving a couple inches so it wouldn't get pulled through the wood. Then it was done. The goal for this was to be able to grow our own food for our turtles and tortoises. This entire hoop house garden is for us to grow collard greens which are very high in calcium and are great for all of our shelled friends. One week after we planted you could already see the plants pushing through the soil. Then three weeks after we planted this is the progress. We are excited to start feeding our animals fresh from the garden. We hope this helps inspire you to make your own hoop house or start feeding your animals the best and freshest food you can. If you enjoyed watching, please like the video or consider subscribing to our channel. We upload a new video every other week about our animals, so stick around and we'll see you all in our next animal adventure.